it's gonna be if it's gonna be loud or what the heck because I'm filming now on my very very first vlogging camera but I'm on my way to Laredo you guys it's been a week I wasn't able to have a vlog up last weekend everything took a turn on Monday so I'm gonna go ahead and explain everything that's been happening my mom was admitted into the hospital Monday afternoon. We had a very chill weekend. We went to the football game Friday with Bert. Um, Saturday, I stayed home with my mom and Grecia. Bert had a quinceanera that he had to record. So we relaxed all day Saturday. Sunday, I was doing laundry all day. My mom woke up with a really, really bad headache and like some back, like shoulder pain up here. And so she was in bed most of the day, Sunday. I didn't wanna bother her. Sunday evening, we're gonna go buy something to eat. We're gonna go buy dinner. And as I'm walking out, I see that she's sitting in her room with the patch over her right eye. And I'm like, why do you have a patch on your eye? And she's like, it's because I can't see. She lost vision in her right eye. It's been like that since then. Uh, Monday morning, she called her ophthalmologist, told them what was happening, everything that she felt. She said that she felt like a pulling sensation over her right eye, and then everything just went dark. So she thought that she was gonna wake up and everything was gonna be fine Monday morning. She woke up and it was not, so I had her call the doctor, let them know, and they told her, come to the office right away. So. I got out of work early and I was able to bring her. They do all these kinds of tests on her eye. They tell her that she had a stroke in her eye so she needed to go to the emergency room ASAP. So there we go to the emergency room. And then as soon as we get there, they wanna do MRIs, CT scans, x-rays. They wanna do like the whole nine yards they end up telling her that she's gonna have to be admitted so she's been in the hospital since Monday so far thank God they've done all of those tests plus more they've done angiograms um, name it they've done it and everything everything has come out a hundred percent fine she doesn't have any blockages anywhere in her body her brain everything's functioning her heart the way it should she still cannot see so we don't know pretty much she's gonna have to be sent to another specialist to so that they can see like what where the blockage is coming from that isn't letting the blood flow to her eyeball like to see where it's restricted so hopefully she'll be able to come home today it's Wednesday I haven't gone to work all week long but hopefully hopefully fingers crossed I'm able to bring her home today I'll just worry about setting up an appointment with another doctor even if it's in San Antonio or the valley anywhere else but that's pretty much where we've been so far but anyways I just wanted to fill you guys in real quick on what's been happening and why there wasn't a video up last weekend but Let's just, let's get to Laredo, let's go see my mom, and see what happens after that. <laughs> hey guys, so it is, or shall I say, it has been a couple days later. It is Monday, September 18th, the day before my mom's birthday. And let me tell you guys that it has been, I don't even know what to call it, you guys. It has just been uh, scary. Scary describes what I've been feeling, like scared, anxious, confused, like what is going on. So I'm going to fill you guys in. Um, the clips that you guys just saw was from last week. I thought that was going to be the end of what I thought was... Oh my god, I can't talk. I thought that that was going to be the end of what I thought were, like, the worst days of my life. Like, hearing my mom... Hearing the doctor say that my mom had an eye stroke, that she was sick, that she was gonna have to be hospitalized for the first time since I've ever been born. Like, my mom's pretty much 
never been in a hospital that she's ever had to be there if it's not just that we're visiting someone i'm so sorry for like the lighting and stuff but i can't get it right um so i was with her every day of last week and friday she ended up having a follow-up appointment in laredo so i took her to that and the only reason that i'm saying these things is to sort of bring awareness to you guys i had never heard of eye strokes i had never been with someone firsthand like being around someone having a stroke i had never seen it i never of course i knew the signs but i had never seen one happen like right here at a distance so that's the only reason i'm not trying to put my mom's business out there or anything if anything i want to ask you guys for prayers for her because my mom is my everything and i hate to see her like this she's a very independent person she's always been the type to do stuff for others and to tend to others not ever have someone tend to her so i think in all of this she's just having a hard time accepting the fact that she's going to be needing help from here on out and that person to give her the help is going to be me and I'm not going to push her or make her feel that she cannot do anything by herself but basically what I'm getting to is my mom had a stroke and it's so I never ever 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 thought that I would say those words or that any of this would be happening to her Friday after her appointment that I took her to I took her out to eat at her favorite restaurant because tomorrow's her birthday and I'm sorry for crying tomorrow's her birthday so when my sister was in town like two or three weeks ago we celebrated her birthday a little bit early because it's never like my brother my sister here like my sister lives out of town and we don't you can't just catch us all together so my sister was here and for the past couple years like it's been me and my brother and so this year I told my sister I was like let's go get mom like a cake let's celebrate her early this year now that you're here and we were able to do that we had a great time we barbecued for her we brought her a cake and she had a really fun time so friday after her appointment i took her to eat lunch at chili's and everything was fine you guys she had just been complaining of a really bad headache that hadn't gone away since she was released from the hospital last wednesday so she was able to be home wednesday and thursday well thursday and friday shall i say because we got home pretty late wednesday she was home Thursday all day and then Friday she had a follow-up in Laredo so I took her everything was fine the doctors from the uh, the first hospital that she went to were saying that there was no signs of her having a stroke and the only reason they were calling her eye situation an eye stroke is because basically a stroke is a blockage that doesn't let like blood flow through the veins and stuff that's what a stroke is so that's what they thought was wrong with her eye but Friday they ended up telling her that the blockage in her eye is a calcium buildup that is stuck in between her veins it's not blood it's not anything so they're still calling it a stroke but it's just calcium and we don't know at this moment if it's going to go away um, or if she'll have complete vision back in her eye. We were going to be sent to a retinologist and I just got her appointment for that. It's in two weeks. On our way home, like I said, she was complaining of a really, really bad headache. Like this ugly headache that she's never had before. So I told her like put your seat back, recline it, take a nap. Like we're almost home. You're going to be able to go home and relax and stuff. And while we were like 15 minutes away from town already. Um, Laredo is about 45 minutes away so we were 30 minutes away from Laredo 15 from Zapata so I noticed her like acting really weird so she was asleep and then she kind of kept doing this like looking down at her arms looking out the window I didn't think anything of it suddenly I asked her I was like are, like what's wrong like what are you trying to do 
and she just kind of like threw herself back looked over at me and her eyes were like bloodshot it looked like her pupils were her pupils were dilated like her eyes were just going everywhere she couldn't talk to me while i'm driving once i saw her face i knew that something wasn't right with her so i started asking her what her name was what today was um what when her birthday was what uh the year she was born and all like all those types of questions she was answering them for me um and once i asked her to lift up her right arm she couldn't i asked her to lift her left arm and she was having trouble as well i asked her to do the same thing with her legs she couldn't move them lift them so I got the palm of her hand and I scratched the palm of her left hand. She felt it. I scratched the palm of her right hand to see if she had any feeling and she couldn't feel it. As soon as she told me she had no feeling in her right arm, I floored it. Like the pedal was to the ground, floored it. I think I made it to town in like two minutes. I was passing red lights. I was really, really, really scared. I didn't know what was going on at the time. I just knew that I had to get my mom to help as fast as I could. And as soon as I, we don't have an emergency like clinic. We don't have a hospital in town. We don't have none of that. All we have is a fire department. So I drove her there. I pulled up to the fire department like blasting the horn making sure that people knew that i was outside that i needed to get my mom help asap and all of the guys from the fire department ran out and i'm so 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 grateful to them with how fast that how fast they acted like they were just a big 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 help to my mom and i will forever be thankful to those guys who ran out and literally like put her on the stretcher and put her in the ambulance right away because it was very scary it was very very scary and i don't wish that upon anyone so um they took her right back to the hospital i followed them i called bert he was at the football game I called him and I told him like I'm going back to Laredo my mom this happened to her like I told him what was happening and I told him like I'll see you tonight my my brother had Grecia because uh, my sister-in-law had picked her up after school so she was in good hands and they have been a blessing like watching her for me while I go do this with my mom and stuff I go back to the hospital my cousin from out of town was actually in town visiting my mom and he was already here and i told like i called him and i was like hey this just happened i need you here like come and he's like i'm on i'm literally like minutes away so he was the one who drove me back to laredo actually and then we were at the er my brother ended up taking off my sister-in-law my niece they took grecia with them and we were just able to be there for my mom that night but they ended up running a bunch of tests and sure enough she ended up having an acute stroke but we were very very lucky to the point to where it could have been very bad but it wasn't it was a small stroke they did detect that she have that she's already had one before and she is so lucky that she did not have like facial paralysis the only thing is that that part of her brain that it affected is the part of the brain that manages like movement and stuff so that's why she's not able to move like the or it's harder for her to move her right side of her body and the only thing that she's having trouble with right now is the feeling of like little ants crawling on her hand and that's so far the only discomfort she has but after that happened like her headache went away and it's just been a crazy couple days but we're thankful that that was all that happened and um so What's going to happen now is they're going to have to send her to a rehab center where she'll be needing um, intense physical therapy for at least three weeks. 
so that's what's gonna be happening from here on out uh, I didn't go to work today I feel like I just I cried so much today with Bert I I needed a day to just like soak in my feelings and accept what was happening because I hadn't done that I was pretty much like on go mode and yeah but I'm in line to pick up Grecia now she should be getting in the truck soon I haven't vlogged and she's been asking me to vlog for the longest time here she comes my big girl Yesterday, I forgot to give it to you. Where? I got it from Naredo. But where'd you buy it? Um. Tell me. No. Well. You better not have went to you. You better not have went to Lindsay's without me. It's not called Lindsay's. It's called Lens. <laughs> Lin. How dare you? You went to the. You went to Lindsay's yesterday without me. Yeah. Oh. You? Let's see, buckle up. I'm not going no more with you if you keep doing that. Buckle up. I'm trying to take this thing out. <sighs> <laughs> now that I've updated you guys, we're gonna go home now. Bert has two rides to do today, and then tomorrow's actually her birthday, so. Whose birthday? Grandma's birthday. So I will be going to Laredo again tomorrow to hopefully take her like some flowers or something. I'm, I'm probably going to have to take her some clothes, um, a cake. I want to see if I can get her a sugar-free cake somewhere. And um, her walker, she's going to need that. And yeah, so I just thought I would give you guys a quick update. I know I'm, I've, it's a vlog that I've been talking a lot, a lot, but... Hi guys, I'm going to do my homework. Look at what my mommy got me. My mom got me this cushion. Today, what color should I use, guys? There's so many colors to choose. I think I'll go for blue. Hold on, let me end this one. So, I have to color in these five these squares. I have to color in these squares. How many? We're learning 16. We have to. Trace the 16. To trace the 16, then we have to count by 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. homework is done that's what she had to do color in 16 squares write it write to 20 circle the number that's greater draw 16 things of one thing and 16 tally marks how'd you do good, good? <laughs> I'm gonna read the fish and bud the cat bud the cat this is a snapshot of nuts Cat Bud. Nat got Bud from a vet. Bud had a bad leg. The vet had to fix Bud's leg, but had it to sit in a box with a cast on one leg. Then Nat said, Mom, can I have him? Can I? Can I? Can I? 
Dot said yes. Wow. The fish. This is a snapshot of Nat's fish. I mean, yeah, Nat's mm -hmm. fish. Mm -hmm. The fish swim and splash and munch on fish snacks. The cat can smell the fish. It can press on the glass. It can grab at the cat, at the fish. But the cat but cannot get them. The end. Good job.